Hey guys, it's Brian again with another ceiling fan video. I'm here at Nate Gerding's house, and what I bring to you here is a 52 inch Newtone Veranda Friction Drive. The frickin' drive. <laughs> the frickin' drive. <laughs> I guess according to Nate, this fan came pretty much as is, other than the glass. I've never actually videoed one of these before or really seen one up close other than in the museum and I have seen these disassembled on the internet a few times and I just I love the way that these things are built like I know it wasn't the most efficient fan in the world and probably not the quietest but just super cool design basically it's got a box fan motor with a small fan blade on the end of it to cool the motor and then at the end of that is a rubber wheel on the shaft that turns a flywheel that these blades are attached to. Kind of similar to the same way that an Emerson friction drive fan works except this is definitely better quality and this one is not nearly as noisy as a friction drive so uh, Emerson friction drive. Show you what it looks like with the light off. Get the flicker flame bulb in the background but It's antique brass that has the plastic fake cane blades, which I think look really cool on this fan. It's got the uh, Hunter original style new tone mounting with the rubber grommet U-bolt and the uh, claw on top of the down rod. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on for you. This is high speed. It's actually a pretty decent air mover. It's a pretty strong fan. And it doesn't make that much noise, to be quite honest. It does have a bit of a wobble to it. We'll go ahead and turn it to low. It's a two speed fan, non reversible. It definitely has a shutter to it, but really there's not much of a difference between high and low. Yeah, it definitely is a good air mover. We'll turn it off. And there's like practically no spin down on these because they're friction drive. There you have it. That's a 52 inch Newtone friction drive veranda. Hope you guys enjoyed. Keep watching, more videos to come.